This is the recap of Lesson 2, The Love of God, Part 1, for Recovering Addicts and Substance Abusers. This is presented to you by Reach Recovery, taken from the Life of Victory Bible Study Series. Our key verse for this lesson comes from Ephesians 3, 17-19. I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power, together with all the saints, to grasp how wide and how long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Paul prayed that Christians would know and understand the magnitude of God's love. Few people ever really comprehend how much God loves them. One of the central themes of the Bible is God's love for man. By understanding and studying the Bible, we can understand the height, depth, width, and breadth of God's love for us. Let's look at a few key scriptures. The first one comes from Jeremiah 31, 3, and it basically states how God's love is everlasting. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have drawn, drawn you with loving kindness. In contrast to human love, which is often only temporary, God's love is eternal. It lasts forever. It doesn't fade with time. Number two, God's love is for sinners. Romans 5.8 says, But God demonstrates his own love for us in this, while we were sinners, Christ died for us. This is a very powerful act of love. We all like to be shown love and showered with good things. It can be hard for us to feel like we deserve love or kindness when we have been mad or in a bad mood, etc. We can reflect the same mentality upon God. Many times, we think that God only loves us when we are properly performing our religious duties. We assume the more religious we act, the more God loves us. The Bible teaches the opposite. His great demonstration was in response to our rebellion. Number three, God's love is great. This comes from 1 John 3, 1. See what great love the Father has lavished on us that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. So God's love is for everyone. It's not just for some and barely there for others. His love is so great that He makes us His children. Number four, God's love is constant. Romans 8, 39 says basically that nothing can separate us from the love of God. No hardship, no persecution, famine, danger, angels, or demons can separate us. During tough times, many of us wrongly feel that we are separated from God's love. We must settle once and for all that God loves us. The proof of His great love is not to be found in our present circumstances, but in what He did for us on the cross. Are there times in your life when you tend to doubt God's love for you? If so, recognize what happens and why. Will you be able to identify the doubt and overcome it with truth of His love found in the Word? For more information, please visit our website at reachrecovery.org. This presentation was brought to you by Reach Recovery, a nonprofit ministry reaching, engaging, and restoring hope to adults and family members of substance abuse in Greenville, North Carolina. The Bible study material comes from the Life of Victory series published by Every Nation Productions.